In this video I'll show you how to connect your Epson Workforce WF2930 using a USB cable to your computer. This way you're going to avoid using the Wi-Fi and this connection is much more reliable. By the way, it does not come included with one of these in the box. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get such a cable from Amazon. So check this out if you don't already have one. The first step is to connect well, this end of the cable in the back. So you're going to notice this is where the USB cable goes. Take it and we're going to insert it here. Make sure it's aligned properly. Perfect. And the other end we're going to connect it in the PC. Perfect. Next step is to go on the PC and download the driver for this Workforce WF2930. So let's go over there. On your PC, you're going to go on Google and all you have to type is Epson WF line 2930 driver because we need to download the driver for, for your printer. So one of the first options should be from the official website, um, website. Here it's the Canadian one, this is the US one. If you're living in another country, you may have other results, but just go on the official website. Go down, make sure that you are under download. Choose your Windows version. This is Windows 11, so I'll select Windows 11, press go. Go down, wait a few seconds and the driver should appear. Here we go. You're going to go under drivers, click on drivers and you're going to have printer driver. Select download. Wait a few seconds. It's not a big file, so it will just take a few seconds and uh, you're going to launch the file once it's uh, downloaded. So here we go. Open file. Yes. You can close the web browser. Press OK. You can uncheck set as default printer if this is not what you want. And you can also uncheck automatically update software if this is not what you want. Press OK. Select your language. Press OK. Press Agree. OK. Setup is complete, so press OK. And now the printer driver has been installed successfully. You can go and select the Windows logo down below. Maybe yours is on the lower left side. Then select Settings. Select on the right side Bluetooth and Devices. And on the right, si on the right side, yes, Printers and Scanners. Then from here, select Add Device. Select Epson WF2930 series and select Add Device. Now open any file you wish to print. Let's say I want to print this one. I'll open it. Select the print icon. On the left side, select your printer. So from the list, Epson WF2930. Make sure you have the number of copies selected and under details down below and at the end press the print button. Make sure your printer has some paper and extend the paper output. We got our results. Now how do you scan and get the results on your PC? This printer has two scanners. The first one is an automatic document feeder on the top. You first need to open this flap and if you have multiple pages like I do here, place them facing up with the top part of your page towards the left side and glide them in the middle. Just like that. You're going to hear a beep. This means that the printer has recognized you have input paper up there. If you want to scan using the regular scanner, well, you can close this, open. You're going to place your document facing down with the top part towards the right side. And you see there is an arrow over here. Well, you need to glide the corner of your paper until it touches the uh, arrow over there. This is how you know that the paper is aligned. Close the lid and now we need to go on the PC. 
So from here, you're going to go and in the search bar of your PC, tap scan. You're going to open the scan app. The scan app should come included with your PC. You don't have to download it. But if it's not included, in some cases it's not, go on the Windows Microsoft Store and you're going to download it for free. It's made by Microsoft, so it's pretty safe and it's free to use. So open the scan app and then on the left side, you're going to select under scanner your printer. So WF2930. Wait a few seconds. Okay, and under source, it's auto, but you can select manually if you have input the paper under the flatbed, as I did, or the top document feeder. Then select what kind of file you would like uh, to have at the end. I'll select a PDF. Click on show more. And I have the choice to choose if you want in color on black and white resolution, the highest the number on the resolution, the better the results will look, but it also take more time to scan and the file will also take more space on your computer. At the end, select the destination of this file. So desktop is where I chose and press the scan button. Wait a few seconds and under, I would say 15 seconds, you should get the results. All right. We get the confirmation that it has been saved on the desktop. You press view over here. You can open the file. You can also go on the desktop and the file will be there. And here we go. This is our scan. So thanks for watching. I hope my video was helpful. Leave a like, but also comment down below. Check my links towards Amazon. If you want to support my channel, if you want to get some paper or some ink cartridges for this specific printer. I have put links down below and I'll see you in the next video.